In this How to Prepare for Your Beyond Quantum Healing Hypnosis session video, we're going to talk about what is it like to be in hypnosis. So if you've never had a hypnosis session before, you may be wondering what is it like to actually be in hypnosis? What does it feel like? What, what will I experience? So for most of my clients, they feel as though they are very conscious and very in control during their session. Occasionally, I'll have a client that goes very deep into trance and they can't seem to remember a whole lot about their journey once they come out of the trance state, but that's no problem because I provide them with a recording of their entire session and they can go back and re-listen and relive that experience at any time. So during your session, you are in full control, you're not asleep, and you can even get up and go to the restroom, and when you come back and you get comfortable again, you're going to go back to the exact place where we left off. I like to start every session by spending a little bit of time getting to know you, and we're going to go over your list of questions for the guides and for your higher self. And then we'll spend a little time working through some visualization exercises that I created to help you prepare for what it's going to be like during your session. After that, we'll take a quick break and then you're going to get into a comfortable position. Now, most clients prefer to lay down on a bed or couch, but if you prefer to recline in a chair, that's no problem at all. And if you like it a little bit darker, you can use a towel or a scarf to cover your eyes and that might help a little bit to get more into that trance-like state. So we'll begin your journey with a full body relaxation, just getting nice and comfortable. And then on to the induction where you are going to become even more comfortable and even more relaxed. Now once we finish with the induction, most clients begin to see images around them. They may pop up nice and bright or they may be a little more muted and we have to spend some, a little bit of time exploring them in order for the scene to unfold. So I'll ask you questions about what you're seeing, sensing, feeling, smelling, and you're going to give me as much description as possible. So typically, the more that you talk and describe what's around you, the more the scene is going to unfold in front of you. We'll spend a little bit of time exploring whatever you're experiencing. We're going to go into some past lives. You may go into multiple past lives. And after we have moved through everything that you need to experience and see, we will move on with connecting to one of your guides or your higher self so that we can begin bringing in the healing energy that you need and to get all of the answers to all of the questions that you provided for your session. So once your session is complete, I'll bring you back to everyday awareness and give you just a minute to sort of get your bearings again. And then we'll have just a little short post-session discussion about your session and you can ask any questions that you may have. Then it's time for you to get some rest so that you can allow all of that amazing energy that you received during your session integrate within your body and within your system. Now, there are so many wonderful benefits of having a BQH session. You get to see yourself in a past life or even multiple past lives. You get to learn more about who you truly are as a soul get answers to life's important questions, and receive so much powerful healing energy that helps you heal the body and to raise your frequency and your vibration. So I hope this video has answered any of the questions that you may have about what it's like to be in hypnosis and what you may experience during a BQH session. And I will see you in the next video.